Hi everyone, it's Justine. Today we're discussing the last of five body types I've been making videos about in the last weeks. It's the rectangle shaped body. This video is useful for you not just if that's your body shape, but also if you work somehow with models as a photographer, as a designer, as a stylist, and so on. Why do models usually have rectangle shapes? Designers design on dress forms that have very little curves, so to say. Why? Because it's easier to dress. The more curve you have, the more you have to take in fabric, put darts everywhere so that the garment will follow the curves of the body. So a dress form is kind of a rectangle and that's why models are usually required to be rectangle shaped. You know, when you prepare a fashion show, you can just take any girl, put her into the dress and it's going to fit without you having to make an extra fitting for her anymore. So it's just a big time saver. Now let's see strength and weakness of the rectangle shaped body possible strategies to not just style your body but also have fun with clothes because your body type is the easiest to dress um, which is a great freedom then we are going to look at celebrities you will see that they're pretty much all models and how they play with garments around their body shape and last but not least i'll give you some closet advice and style recommendations that you can try and have fun with let's take the example of mrs carly Kloss. In your case, you have complete freedom in styling your body. There is nothing you need to hide. The question is rather which parts of your body do you want to highlight with a given outfit, with a given style, and then build around it. For example, you can decide that you want to turn yourself into an hourglass by cinching your waist and increasing the proportions at the level of the bust and the hips. That's one possible strategy. Another one, is to say, I'm going to play the inverted triangle shape. I've made a video about that one already. And you wear a super long, super thin shift dress that goes until the floor and you're going to look like an inverted triangle. It's fun. You can really do whatever you would like. Celebrity examples now. Kate Moss is your typical supermodel shape. She has exactly the proportions and the measurements from her dress form. She's just a little bit short, but she actually fits into everything. That's why she's booked by everybody. And no matter what she wears, you don't need a fitting on her. Most of the time, in fact, she wears not so much, but that's okay because she looks amazing. <laughs> Another example is Kendall Jenner, Kardashian family, right? She is your typical long and lean model. She fits to all brands according to the current um, beauty standards, I should say. So she would typically wear a thigh split, which is also a Kardashian specialty and asymmetric stuff going on at the top. So this dress is a typical Kendall Jenner look. Last celebrity example, Gigi Hadid. She plays more the feminine side. So less sporty, more mermaid shapes. She tends to wear a lot of dresses going like down to the floor and moving behind her and then combined with a lot of cutouts, which are her specialty. And now comes the closet advice. Technically, any type of clothing works for you, right? We've discussed that. But here are some things and trends and directions and outfit types that you might want to try first to have fun and second because there might be things that you wouldn't think about by yourself but that really work for you. Asymmetric clothes to start with, the Kendall Jenner method so to say. If you try a top like this it's gonna break the impression of, of long and lean figure and make the whole look look more interesting. So a top is something that you can try, a skirt as well, and now asymmetric designs have really become common in the mass market. It's just not a couture thing anymore. It's mass brands also have it, so you can go to your regular mass market retailer and find stuff like that. A dress or a skirt can be asymmetric in your case in the cut itself, like this one, but also on the pattern. So this one does both. It doesn't have to be that much of a crazy pattern, though I really like this one. And in terms of pants, I know that old models of the runway wear ballerinas, a tank top and slim jeans. Well, slim is not a good choice for this body type. Rather go for straight jeans like this one. It's complementing your body shape just a lot better and prevents you from looking like this. <laughs> Minimalism is another direction that you might want to consider trying. A regular shift dress, very long and lean, a spaghetti tank top, like a very basic one, all that fits you really well. And while we're about minimalism, what about monochromatic stuff? This example here, see, 
place with horizontal stripes to create an hourglass object. This girl is not an hourglass, she's a model, right? She's a rectangle. But it looks so different when she's wearing that. On the second example, that's also monochromatic in black and white, you have a pattern shape that makes the girl look more hourglass. That's another way to do it. And last but not least, in your case, it doesn't even have to be coordinated between the top and the bottom. You can also go for something at the top and then a completely different pattern at the bottom. You're extremely free. What else? What did I forget? Do you have further tips on that body shape? I know you guys have been commenting like crazy and really smart comments on my video about 90s fashion, so I look forward to reading your comments on this one. Feel free to write them down here so we can discuss. If you found this video interesting and useful, give it a thumb up. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you are not subscribed yet, and I'm happy to welcome you here. Now is the time to click again um, to see another body type out of the five. All of them are released by now, so you can click here if you're watching on your computer. If you're watching on a smartphone, you'll find the same links in the description, in the info box below this video. And I see you on Sunday for the next video, which is in three short days. Take care. Bye-bye.